Hey guys, what's up? My name is Ope, and you're watching Rig Junkies. Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Rig Junkies here, back with another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be splatter painting my dash and for my truck and yeah i already did some of it like uh i'm getting ready to put take the box out of the back to and put a little bit of cali lean on it but i did those and right there and the ashtray and the whole dash i spider painted it and uh yeah, so I'm going to be doing it with my uh, glove box right now. And I was going to do a video on it. See how you guys, well, if you guys don't know how to spider paint on, this is my new Jeep and I did it on it. It's just a trail rig, but I wanted to add something to it. So I did it on this. Uh, yeah, I think it looks pretty good in here, actually. I'll show you the driver's side on my truck. Uh, yeah looks really good i like it and yeah so i'll get you guys i'm gonna do a kind of a montage and i'll show you guys the finished product And by the way, guys, I'm going to do two coats on this. Uh, I just think it sticks better. I've done it on every single one. But, uh, yeah, and by the way, this isn't white. It's light gray. And it looks pretty cool on my truck. So, yeah. I might add some music to that clip. I don't know. I probably won't. But, yeah, I'm just painting on my trash can right now because why not? Who gives a shit? But, yeah, so I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys like this video. I know I haven't done one in a long time. And uh, I'm going to try to do more. But who really knows because I'm not really a man of my word. But I am a man of my word just not when it comes to making videos. But yeah, this is a trail rig. I'm getting ready to put a... I'm thinking about putting a 4-inch lift kit on it with um, 33s or 35s probably swampers uh yeah i still got a weld a bumper and everything but yeah this thing's loud as shit i only got a little muffler on there i don't know if you guys can see that hey right there just a little muffler and yeah it's actually clean as hell all the power seats work Uh, it's a little dirty right now. Um, the heated, it's got heated seats and they work. Uh, so yeah, guys, it looks pretty good. I like it. Uh, I think it looks good in here. The splatter paint. And I'll give you guys a start up on this Jeep here. digital down there works it's a 97 uh all that up there works the digital right there uh, the heat works the air uh, but yeah it's got a 
163,000 miles on it, which is low for a 97, honestly. And it's got the 4.0 in it. Uh, the only thing that doesn't work that I know of is the temperature gauge. Uh, sometimes when you hit a big bump, it kicks back on, but it doesn't work. Everything else works with a gas gauge, uh, amps gauge, uh, oil pressure, everything. Uh, it's got a few rips in the seat and shit, but that's about it. All the headliners torn out of it, and that's actually good because my last headliner I had a few couple rowdy nights and people kept screwing it up, so it's better for me. And uh, the windows move, which is actually surprising. All the windows roll down, uh, all the way. Well, not this one rolls down all the way. So does this one, but this one does not. It gets stuck right there, so you gotta help it down. And I did. I used to have this Jeep. Um, so this Jeep used to be mine, and I sold it to my brother for three hundred bucks, and then I bought it back from him like last weekend. Just because I wanted another one, because I had so much fun. And my quad's torn apart right now, as you guys can see, the frame's in there. My 450 swing arm and shit's right there. But stay tuned for that, because it's gonna be one bad quad. But uh, yeah, so I bought it back from him. Uh, the reason I sold it, because I liked my old one better, but then I sold that one. And I'm kind of stupid for doing that, or for selling this one and not just getting rid of the other one. Because this one is so much cleaner and so much nicer. Uh, my old one, the unibody was bent. The uh, heat didn't work. I mean, nothing worked. I mean, I know it's a trail rig, but I'm pretty sure that motor was about to blow up. But, yeah, this thing runs pretty good. It's got a little tear in the seat right there. Get rid of a little rev. Sounds pretty good. I'll shut it off here. But when I had it, I wired up because I didn't have a key switch so you could turn it on. I didn't have the ignition. And so I wired up a uh, button here and I still have it wired up because my brother didn't take it off. He just put that in there. But yeah, so I had a button. And you had to screw with this all the time. You had to put a screwdriver in there and just screw with it. And I wasn't having that. So I wired up a button and it, it worked. But then it kept screwing up. So then I was like, you know what, I don't even like it. But I think I like this Jeep a lot better. And I'm pretty sure everybody else will. And yeah, I think it's a pretty cool Jeep. And I know it's just a beater but it's a trail rig so what the hell do i care but yeah so this is the horn i think it's got a different horn on it but i'm not sure or the horn's just worn out but then if you hit it again it'll be louder see it it changes See if you go like different, if you go on the different sides of the uh, steering wheel, it changes. But yeah, guys, so I'm gonna do another coat on this. I probably won't record it, I'll just record the splatter painting, but I'm gonna do the second coat. And I'll see you guys when I'm putting the second or the splatter paint on on this thing and just basic general grabbers. But the reason is, is because this truck is not stock. Uh, it's got a built diff, built trainee, uh, Jasper engine, um, true duels all the way to the middle, uh, two M80 cherry bombs, and 
basically I was just keeping this truck a sleeper, but I'm getting ready to throw some wheels and tires on it because I don't know, the sleeper looks getting old. But yeah, I can take out V6s. I can keep up with Mustangs, so it's pretty cool. But yeah, so it's basically just a sleeper. Uh, these wheels aren't actually in bad shape. Those up there have got a little brake dust. But my tires are shot. Like, yeah, they're shot. But, yeah, I need to peel this off. And I'm getting ready to get a new bed because my whole bed is shot. Like, everything, the mounts and everything. And, uh, yeah, so the sleeper looks getting old, so I'm getting ready to put some new shit on it. And I'll probably do videos on that. And, well, let's get this stuff to dry, and I'll start doing the splatter paint. It's only been like five minutes since I've done the last clip. But, so basically what you want to do is pop the cap off of the paint you're using. Don't start barking, dog. But you about pop the cap off of the paint you're reusing, and then, hold on, camera up here. Oh, my dog's an idiot but so you pop the cap off the paint you're using what i'm doing and you can use a brush uh yeah, my sweatshirt's all the way up because i was under my truck but so you can use a brush but i'm just using the cap because i think it makes it look better because i don't like the brush ways but so you spray the paint in there and basically that's all you do is you just spray the paint in there and then idiot dog but so then you get your paint and i've learned that you splatter a little bit like that and then you just basically you just do that and then it turns out really good uh so I'm gonna do, oh, I got paint on my phone, but I'm gonna do two different paints. Uh, that's what I did on every single one. And I'm just gonna do the same thing with this green. And I'll get to you guys with the finished product because, I mean, basically you just do the same thing. Take the cap off, throw the paint in there, and then you just toss it at it but or fling it but yeah guys so i'll get you guys when i'm done with the finished product because my dog's really annoying right now but yeah all right guys so i just finished putting the green on and i think it turned out really good uh yeah i don't think that'll look bad but i'll get you guys when i'm putting it back in the truck or when it's already back in the truck and i'll show you guys what all this looks like all right guys so here's the finished product and uh yeah i think it looks pretty good in here the whole dash and everything uh, ashtray i'm about to go sweep it out and do everything else but son of a bitch you know people these days can't drive but or they're just dicks and won't let you out. But, yeah, so I'm about to go do the dash and everything. Clean the dash, do everything. And, uh, don't pull out, you dick. What the fuck are you doing? So I'm about to go do the dat, clean everything. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, don't drive like that, God. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.